We've been working in um, Greenfoot, and we've been seeing some um, code that looks like this. Um, and uh, in, in all the examples we've looked at so far, we have some nice, reasonably sized methods. Um, they really don't get very long at all, which is good. That's what we want, because that makes something that that makes it clear uh, what's happening in the code. It makes it it's it's easier to read. Um, the um, different uh, objects, the different classes, um, do you know are, are we correspond to a particular object? You know, one one particular object. So. Uh, the board class just deals with the board. The ball class deals with the ball, and so on. So um, the the classes deal with one thing as a class, and the methods deal with each deal with one thing. Um, so there's nice uh, cohesion um, within the, uh, the classes and the methods. Um, unfortunately, what can happen over time is that um, you know as programmers work on different systems they develop them more and more you know people want more features and and so you add things on and and as things grow they get more and more complicated um, so let me just show you a, a NetBeans example um, so here is the um, uh, worm um, example from um, from the uh, killer um, Java the killer game programming in Java book um, and what we see here so I opened up the worm panel um, um, editor, the editor for the worm panel class. And if you look at this class, okay, so you have, here's your here's your uh, class header, and then look at all these fields that just got added and added in. So we've got a ton of just just field after field after field, and the, um, let's see, here's our constructor, doesn't even fit in one uh, screen here. And we have, you know, some of these methods are reasonably sized, but some of them are really out of hand. And and again, that's something that happens over time as you're just at, trying to add features. Um, but this is problematic when you're um, trying to learn how to do how to do game programming. When you're trying to read through these these programs that come from the book. And even as a professional programmer, um, it's it's really bad form to just try and if you want to add something or or make a change to a program like this, it's really bad form to just jump in and start making changes without stepping back and doing something that we call um, refactoring. Um, so refactoring is basically, let's see, I think I have the, um, I, I, I'm going to work an example actually in a little bit, um, probably not in this video, probably the next one, on um, how to do refactoring. This is a, a great book on refactoring by Martin Fowler, um, and it's called Refactoring, Improving the Design of Existing Code. And the idea behind refactoring is before you even think about making a change to the behavior of a system, you want to be clear on exactly what that system is doing. And the way you do that is by setting up a definitive set of tests so that you know um, what is expected, what that system is expected to do, and that it's behaving as expected as of right now. And then you reorganize the code to make it clear to you or anybody else who's sitting down looking at that particular piece of the system what's going on with that system. 
So before you even start making changes, you've reorganized and rewritten the code in a way that makes it clear to reduce as much as possible the likelihood that you're going to introduce defects into the system. Okay, so um, <clears throat> for the, for this part of the uh, work, we're going to be um, all right. So I'm I'm going to do some refactoring examples before we get into uh, the the um, killer game programming with Java book because I want it want us to be able to read and clearly understand what's going on with those um, programs. So um, as a first step, we're going to uh, download uh, NetBeans, uh, which is let's see, let me flip over to that, um, which is another uh, development environment like Greenfoot is, um, and you're going to want the Java SE version, and you'll just download that. I've already downloaded it, so I'm I'm not going to go through setup, but if you have problems with setup, you can just email me, uh, tj at tjleone.com, and um, we'll, we'll make sure that, that you got it set up correctly. And I wouldn't, unless you really want these uh, subscriptions, I would uncheck those things before, uh, before downloading. Um, so, yeah, so you can go ahead and download it and install it, and when you set it up, it looks like this okay um, then like I said we're gonna work on a different example and I'm gonna I'm gonna start that in the next video because I've talked long enough so in the next video I'm gonna show you we're gonna start on a on an example of uh, refactoring